I'm Teddy Burris, your LinkedIn strategist, trainer, and coach. And I get asked this question all the time, and it came up this morning, I want to answer this question. Can I create a new LinkedIn account with an email address that's associated to an old account or another account? But before I answer that question, because it's an important question, hit that subscribe button because I share new videos on using LinkedIn as a business tool regularly so that I can help you. The answer to the question is no. If there is a LinkedIn account that has that email address associated, whether it's an active account, whether it's a restricted or closed account, or whether it's a, uh, a, an account that was put on hold, anytime there's an email address associated with the account, you cannot create a new account with that email address. Period. You can't do it. There's no way around it. What you would have to do is if there is an account with an email address that, by the way, you are authorized to have access to that account and that email address, if there is an account on LinkedIn that you can't get to for some reason or another, I recommend engaging with LinkedIn Help, either through Twitter, at LinkedIn Help, through Facebook, on LinkedIn, or through LinkedIn, if you can get into LinkedIn uh, with another account, Somehow or another, engage with LinkedIn support may also be creating a support ticket uh, through the support pages and ask LinkedIn to help you get access to that account with that email address. Again, as long as that's your email address and that's your account and you are authorized to access it. That would be my recommendation for creating a new account with an existing email address. Don't fix the account. Now, I often get asked this question question because accounts get shut down or restricted or closed because the LinkedIn member used LinkedIn inappropriately. Either use some automation, some data scraping, or some tool that is uh, clearly a violation of the LinkedIn terms and services. And when that happens, the only option that you really have is to engage with LinkedIn support clearly and transparently. Let them know that you know you violated the terms and services and that you've read the terms and services and you are clear about the mistake you made and that you will never make it again. Let them know that your LinkedIn account is a vital part of your business. Hopefully it is. And see if they will unrestrict your account. That's about the only option that you have. I have seen it be successful with sincerity uh, with clarity um, and with you know being um, asking for help rather than demanding help. So that's my recommendation about uh, creating accounts, managing accounts, uh, getting an account unrestricted in context to can I create an account with an email address that's already associated to one. I'm Teddy Burris, your LinkedIn strategist, trainer, and coach. Hope these ideas are helpful for you.